In a previous video, I demonstrated how infrared sensor receiver is used in controlling peripherals connected to Arduino. And in my last video, I demonstrated Arduino FM radio and real-time clock using TEA5767 and DS3231 modules. In this video, the FM radio and clock is fully controlled using IR remote control and IR sensor receiver. A block diagram of the implemented system is shown here. We have the IR remote control communicates with the IR receiver which is of type KY022 and the IR receiver is used to control the Arduino based FM radio and clock. Some of the buttons on the IR remote control have been programmed to interact with the FM radio and clock. This button is used to turn on or off the FM radio. When in the off position we will see the real-time clock on the display. This button is used to select a channel. This is the up button and this is the channel select down button. This button is used to mute the audio of the FM station. A circuit diagram of the implemented system is shown here. The IR receiver is connected to pin D11 of the Arduino. The connections of the real-time clock and the FM radio module and the LCD display were explained in my previous video. And now for a quick demonstration. On the remote control we press the power button to turn on the FM radio. We press the up and down buttons to change the stations. We press the mute button and mute the audio of the station. We press the power button to turn off the radio and get back to the real-time clock. The C++ code used in this project is shown here. These are the libraries included in the sketch. One for the FM module, one for the real-time clock, and one for the LCD screen, and one for the infrared receiver. Within the loop function and when no button is pressed on the remote control, this if statement related to the IR receiver is ignored and this if statement is also ignored because the initial value of boolean variable radio on is uh, false. So this if statement becomes true and the real-time clock function is executed. When we press the power button on the remote control this if statement now becomes true and the program jumps to this uh, function called translate IR. Inside function translate IR this variable will have a hexadecimal code of the power button and using a switch statement this case will be a match and inside the case we will flip the boolean value of radio on so now it is true and here we will select the ith FM station and initial value of I here is zero so the first station will be selected. Back in the loop function the value of radio on is now true so this if statement becomes true and this function is called to execute the FM radio program. If we press the up channel button then this if statement again becomes true and the program jumps to the translate IR function. Inside function translate IR and within the switch statement this second case now becomes true which is for the up button and here we increment the value of I to point to the next station and then we select that station. Now if we press the down button then this case will be selected and here we decrement the value of I to point to the previous station and then we select that station. If we press the mute button then this case will be selected and the boolean variable mute on which has initial value of false will become true. In a future video more buttons on the IR remote control will be programmed to add more functionalities to the FM radio and clock. Thank you for watching.